North Korea's top diplomat said his country was ready to welcome Russian President Vladimir Putin, state media reported Sunday, John 21, in the latest sign of deepening ties between the two authoritarian countries. Traditional allies Russia and North Korea have recently improved ties, with Pyongyang leader Kim Jong-un making a rare overseas trip to meet Putin. Russia will develop ties with North Korea in all areas based on an agreement between their leaders in September, the Kremlin said on Monday, John Urs 15, when their foreign ministers will meet in Moscow. North Korean Foreign Minister Choe Son Hui arrived on Sunday on a rare visit to Moscow for talks with his counterpart Sergei Lavrov as the two countries deepen economic, political, and military ties, North Korea's state news agency KCNA said. Russia says it will build ties with North Korea when foreign ministers meet. As Russia's international isolation increases due to the war in Ukraine, Analysts say Moscow has seen an increase in value in its relations with North Korea. For North Korea, relations with Russia have not always been as warm as during the Soviet Union's heyday, but the country has benefited from Moscow's need for friends. North Korea is our closest neighbor and partner, with whom we develop and intend to further develop partnerships in all areas, Said Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov, the visit is to further discuss an agreement reached by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un regarding a space launch facility in Russia's Far East in September in which Russian President Vladimir Putin pledged to help Pyongyang build a satellite, he said. Russia has improved ties with North Korea since the start of the war with Ukraine nearly two years ago relations that have been a source of concern for the West, especially after accusations that Moscow fired North Korean-made ballistic missiles at targets in Ukraine. North Korea continues to push ballistic missile development and tested a new solid-fuel hypersonic missile with medium range, KCNA reported, a move condemned by the United States, South Korea, and Japan. Moscow and Pyongyang deny any arms deals but say they will deepen cooperation in all areas and have held a series of high-level meetings since last year, including a summit between Putin and Kim. Peskov said Russia hoped Putin's visit to North Korea at Kim's invitation would take place in the future, but he said no date had been agreed. Given that Russian-North Korean relations are developing into many facets, all kinds of issues could be discussed between Lavrov and Chol. In short, North Korea feels even more insecure and vulnerable than South Korea, Lukin said. Russia is currently the only power that can help improve Pyongyang's strategic military security, 